You look really nervous. Oh, I am. I hate going to the doctor. Such a stressful thing to do. If hospitals stress you out, this might hurt a bit. And needles freak you out. A trusting doctor can help ease the pain. They probably are the youngest and shortest doctors um, that we have in the building here, but they are highly qualified. Look right, next one. At St. Joseph's Children's Hospital, there are plenty of doctors on call. You may have yes. to sit down. The doctors here are pretty short. <laughs> That's okay. When I take my shoes off, I am too. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see a syringe coming. Does that mean I need a shot? The doctors and patients switch roles for the day. She's really brave, isn't she? To give the kids a sense of what it's really like to take care of a patient. Thank you very much, Dr. Brooklyn. I'm not feeling good. Okay, sure. Suffering from all head? sorts of ailments. I have pneumonia. Pneumonia? Yes, I'm very sick. Well, she said she's been having a runny nose oh. and a fever. I've had my eyes checked a few times. That seems like a lot of trouble for a cough. It's a bad cough. Brittany has constipation, Bonnie has a fever, and <laughs> Samantha just has pneumonia. It really doesn't matter what any of the patients have, because they're in capable hands here. The fun thing for the real doctors is they get to trade places with the kids for the day. And a lot of these kids have had these things happen to them when they've been in those beds. And it's nice to flip the script a little bit for the professionals. They're the ones who are always being worked on, poked, and it's nice for them to be able to be in the other shoes and do things to us. Ouch! Sometimes laughter <laughs> is the best medicine. <laughs> but compassion and kindness work well too. I have a very good doctor. On the road in Tampa. <laughs> I'm Bobby Lewis, 10 News, WTSP. There's no more needles, so that's okay.